Jeff Simons. I'm a co-founder of solosuit.com. And today we're talking about Corona Apocalypse. Yep, that's right. That means what to do if you get sued for debt because of the Corona Apocalypse. All right, the Corona Apocalypse is coming for all of us. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so first, uh, main things to know, right? If you get sued because you default on a loan or like a payment because of the Corona Apocalypse, you're actually getting sued for debt. You know, you have to do the same three steps as always that we cover in all of our videos, right? And that is first, you have to create your answer document to respond to the summons. And then answer document, you got to respond to every paragraph, every numbered paragraph in the summons, say whether you admit, deny, or I don't know. All right. And then second, you got to assert your affirmative defenses. Don't forget to assert your affirmative defenses. All right? This is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity to assert your affirmative defenses. And then three, you got to file your answer with the court and mail a copy to the plaintiff's attorney. All right, you got to make two copies, one to the court, one to the plaintiff's attorney. All right, so those are the three basic steps. You always got to follow those if you get sued for debt uh, in court. All right, no different with the Corona Apocalypse. Uh, some things that are different this time around um, is that, you know, interestingly, uh, there's a bunch of new ways to avoid getting sued. And because of the Corona Apocalypse onset, uh, there might be... A big surge in debt lawsuits coming up, uh, a big tidal wave of debt lawsuits, and you don't want to be one of those guys, all right? But if you are, we can help you out. All right, so first, you know, as always, you can just go on over to solosuit.com. We can do all this for you. We even have a free service. Uh, or, you know, you can have us have an attorney review your document, your answer document that you generate to respond to the lawsuit, and we can even mail it for you. Uh, no matter what state you're in, we can do this service. Uh, just go head over to the website, give us a phone call, call the number at the top of the site if you have any questions. All right, we love talking with you guys. Love talking with you. Love helping you out. All right, first, on regards to Corona Apocalypse, uh, we're gonna be laying, we're gonna be talking about how uh, there seems to be a perfect storm lining up for uh, a tidal wave, uh, a terrible situation with debt collection lawsuits. Right, this is alarming to me, so I just wanted to uh, let some people know about it and maybe help you avoid the situation or at least know that it's coming. All right, so there are three factors that we've identified that are potentially leading to this unperfect storm, if you will, or this terrible storm uh, that's coming up. Uh, so first, if this situation... Uh, this public health hazard leads us into a recession, which it appears to be doing currently. Um, debt lawsuits go up in times of a recession. Yeah. All right, that's not anything anybody wants to hear, but honestly, it's you know, probably kind of common sense. You might have expected that. Um, let's dive into the details a little bit more. Um, in 2007 to 2012, uh, in the past recession, the 2008 uh, housing bubble, recession, all of that jazz. Uh, debt collection lawsuits went up across the entire United States. In New Jersey, they jumped from 203,000 lawsuits in 2006 to 290,000 lawsuits in 2008. That's that's a lot. That's an increase of 40%. Uh, that's a big number. All right, you can see, you know, this this peak of this graph. Right, take a look at that one. Oh, okay, that's New Jersey. And then, oh, yep, you got this one. See that big peak right there in like the 2007, 2008 area? Miami Dade, County of the United States. We got more graphs. Oh, yeah, look at this one. Missouri, look at that peak. Whoa. Oh, 2007, it peaks 2008. Right, that's a that's a big, big summit of debt lawsuits there. That's a big number. Oh, we got one more. Uh, coming in here from New Mexico, uh, yeah, that's a that's a big peak, right? That basically, I mean, that rivals like Mount Rainier. Am I right? That, that is a that's a you know mountain up there in Seattle. That's like that's a big that's a big peak. All right, you don't want to be in that number. You don't want to be on that graph. All right, but you very well might be. 
All right, so that's factor one that's leading into this perfect storm of debt lawsuits. Debt lawsuits just go up in a recession. Factor two is that consumers have more unsecured debt. And we got some beautiful graphs to show you this idea here as well. Um, in 2008, uh, there was more mortgage debt. But in this uh, time period right now, consumers are actually taking on more unsecured debt. And unsecured debt, just so you know, is the type of debt that people sue over because it's not secured. Right? So it's not secured, so they have to come after you in a lawsuit to collect on that debt. Uh, in the end of 2017, um, non-mortgage debt made up 33% of consumer aggregate debt. All right, 33%. And that's a lot. Um, and then uh, total consumer debt uh, has risen at the end of 2019 to over $14 trillion, whereas back in the day in 2008, it was just a little bit over 13 or just under $13 trillion. All right, you can take a look at this graph here from the from the Fed data supply. You can see the overall debt and non-housing debt, non-mortgage debt is up. And here's a breakdown of that non-housing debt. You can see that a lot of it is student loans. Um, you know, there are some other category, right? Some credit card, credit card debt's certainly up, but a lot of it is auto loans and student loans. All right, people sue over auto loans and student loans. We have a lot of customers on solo suit who are getting sued for both types of those loans. All right, factor three, the Trump administration has been rolling back regulations on debt collection and defanging the CFPB, all right, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Love those guys. Trump administration apparently does not love them as much as I do or as much as people who are getting sued for debt lawsuits do. Right, uh, the Trump administration has asked the Supreme Court of the United States to take up a case against the CFPB that could be potentially uh, fatal for that organization. Um, also, uh, the administration has suggested some policy changes that would basically allow debt collectors to call, to call, text, and email uh, people basically as much as they want to collect the debt from them. All right, and with the defanging of the, the CFPB, um, you know, that's kind of like turning this area into like a wild west and letting the debt collectors do like whatever they want. So basically like the only defense will be uh, people like us, like SolarSuit, that help consumers just fight debt lawsuits when they get sued. All right, so that's factor number three. So with these three factors, right, debt lawsuits go up during a recession. Consumers today have more unsecured debt than they did even in 2008. And the Trump administration has been defanging and, and the CFPB and deregulating debt collection. This is really creating the unperfect storm for debt lawsuits to go up if there is indeed a recession from the corona apocalypse. Uh, so hopefully you won't be in that, but just so you're aware, that's something to look out for. All right, next, we're going into programs for consumers. All right, so that's the bad news, right? There's a lot of uh, these debt lawsuits that are probably going to be increasing. But let's take a look at programs, new programs for consumers that people have put out to help people uh, not default on their loans, basically as a result of Corona apocalypse. All right, there's a lot of good people doing a lot of good things right now to help people like yourself out. Let's go one by one. First, if your hours are cut because of coronavirus, if your hours at work are cut because of coronavirus, you can apply for unemployment. All right, on March 12th, 2020, uh, they were put out some new reasons that you could get unemployment. All right, let me just uh, list them off for you. First, if an employer if an employer temporarily closes or ceases operations due to coronavirus, you could get unemployment. All right, if an individual is quarantined and expected to return to work after the quarantine is over, you could get unemployment. If you leave employment due to risk of exposure or infection or to take care of a family member, again, you could get unemployment. Or you could also just get unemployment if your hours are even reduced uh, because of something outside of your control like the coronavirus. Side note, state unemployment websites are crashing. All right, so you might want to try going to them 
in the middle of the night. They're crashing because so many people are getting unemployed and applying for unemployment. So let's go there in the middle of the night. Maybe less people will be on the site. Next, if you need help with your rent payments or mortgage payments, keep in mind that FHA loans and public housing have actually just been protected. On March 18th, as said that public housing and FHA-backed mortgage loans are protected from eviction. So people with either of those are protected from eviction, not forever, but until the end of April 2020. All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, President Trump ordered this recently uh, through the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, right, to halt all evictions and foreclosures. This will affect approximately 8.1 million households. All right, so that could be you. Keep that in mind. Maybe protected from getting evicted, from making late payments or not paying uh, a mortgage or rent. There are some restrictions that apply, so look into that in more details. Next, you may be able to skip your utility payments. All right, so a lot of people, a lot of utility companies have said they will not disconnect, uh, like your power or your water, etc. Um, and also, they may not charge you late fees. Check out the full list. Uh, utility companies, right? These include like California, PG&E, or Con Edison in New York, or AEP Texas uh, in the great state of Texas. Uh, internet and cell phone providers are also on the same bandwagon. Uh, some people who said they won't cut off service or charge late fees include AT&T, CenturyLink, Comcast, Cox Communications, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon. Also, did I mention you could actually get 60 days of free internet with Comcast if you apply right now. Yeah, they're doing that so they can uh, help out your kids. If your kids aren't going to school, they still need the education. So 60 days of free internet with Comcast. Next up, student loans. If you have student loans, you may be able to get a reduction or a delay on those payments. All right, this was announced just in March 20th. So the day that I'm making this video, this was announced, all right? Uh, you may qualify for a delayed or reduced payment program. What's happening here is that federal student loans will automatically have their interest rates set to zero for at least the next 60 days. Now, what does that mean? Interest rates are set to zero, huh? Okay, what that means is that if you make payments, you won't be paying off the interest. All that money you pay will go directly to paying down the principal. Pretty sweet perk, uh, but only if you have the money to make a payment, right? But there's more. So you can also suspend payments entirely for at least two months without accruing any interest. That's pretty sweet. So you can just not make any payments. But you first have to reach out to your loan services, either online or the phone. Might be difficult because a lot of people are calling them right now, right? And then finally, there is actually set now an automatic suspension of payments for any borrower more than 31 days delinquent. All right, so if you're 31 days delinquent, there's actually an automatic suspension of payments. This will give you uh, basically a, a safety net during this time of national emergency. Um, again, there's some kind of misinformation around what the student loan proposal is, but you know, make sure you understand it fully before just like not making any payments, right? Next up, credit card payments. All right, you may have a maybe an option to just delay credit card payments currently. Uh, many banks have said that they will waive certain fees, um, like maybe ATM fees, overpayments, late fees, etc. Um, you definitely want to call them first and then double check, right? Um, they might allow you to delay, adjust, or skip uh, some of your payments. But again, don't just like stop paying. Uh, make sure you understand first. Um, and then finally, generally, uh, the CFPB actually put out some advice. Right, if you are being hounded by a lender or a debt collector, again, get in touch with them. Um, you, when you talk with them, you want to be prepared to explain a few things, right? One, explain your situation, right? How is your life? Make make sure your story is, is set and compelling about how your life has been negatively impacted because of Corona apocalypse, okay? And then figure out how much you can actually sustainably afford to make a payment on these uh, plans. And... Um, when you're likely to be able to restart the regular payments. And finally, in the case of mortgages, be prepared to discuss like your income, expenses, assets, all that normal stuff, right? So when you're reaching out to lenders, be prepared uh, to tell them about your situation.
All right, that is it. That is what we have got for you from Solo Suit about the Corona Apocalypse, about how to respond to debt collection lawsuit during these hard times, about why it looks like there could be a big onset of debt collection lawsuits and you don't want to be one of those people getting sued. And then finally, if you're having a hard time making payments, you know, we have given you a brief outline of different programs that have sprung up to make it easier uh, for you over these next couple months if you're having a hard time uh, paying for things. All right, again, finally, as always, if you are getting sued for a debt, just head over to solosuit.com. There's a link in the description below. We can help you out, um, fight that debt lawsuit, and even win. I'm George Simons, and I am rooting for you. Let's beat this, America.